it's raining. As you can see, and probably hear, it's raining and it's beautiful. <laughs> when you live in, lived in California for 10 years, a rainy day is never bad because because you're so unused to them that when you finally get one it's just the best thing ever so what's our plan for this rainy day you would be thinking making soap you'd be wrong today's bath bomb making day and just because it's raining doesn't mean we're changing our plans. So let's get to making some bath bombs. Hello and welcome back to the Simple and Beautiful Life Kitchen. My name is Shelby and today we will be making some of my absolutely beautiful bath bombs. I am very excited because we're, I'm trying a new scent for these. It's actually my husband's favorite scent, but I've never used it on a bath bomb. I've only ever used it in soap, and it is beautiful in soap. So I can only imagine that in bath bombs, it's going to be even better. I have my... my fragrance oil, my dry ingredients, everything all measured out over here where you can't see that I'm pointing. Um, and we're ready to get started. Okay, and as you can see, the hair is now up because you do want to keep your hair out of your products. I've said this before, but the fastest way to lose a customer is for them to be using some sort of product that makes them feel clean and then to find a hair in it, which makes them feel dirty. So, if you're making your bath bombs or your soap or whatever, make sure it's pulled, to, it's pulled back. Okay, so today I will be using, and I will link it down below, uh, blueberry, and oh my goodness, it really is just is great it smells so good um and that's crafter's choice from wholesale supplies plus and then the next one is french vanilla also from crafter's choice i will be mixing that in well i already have but i've mixed that in a little tiny bit with the blueberry to give it more of a bakery scent because these are labeled blueberry cupcake bath bombs so they need to have that little bit of vanilla in them. They can't just be blueberry. So they need to smell a little bit like cake. And the French vanilla takes care of that. Okay, so I have my, my dry ingredients. I always make sure to whisk these a lot to get everything dispersed. We're making a big batch today. So I've doubled my dry ingredients as well as my wet ingredients. Okay. I use rubbing alcohol and witch hazel, a little bit of a combination of both. If it seems like it's right on the verge of being too moist, not moist enough, I use rubbing alcohol because it's just better, less moisture. I have my coconut oil. This is the biggest amount of liquid that I put in, besides the fragrance oil. Because you just, you don't want to put too much uh, liquid. They don't like it. They just don't like it. All right, I've added my dye. I'm going to be doing two different shades of blue. What helps really with the dye, dispersing, dispensing, dispersing it is a lot of stirring and uh, rubbing alcohol. 
you can see it's starting to turn a little blue. Alrighty, and now this one is next. You really do have to disperse, kind of mash up almost, the little droplets of dye because they instantly absorb this baking soda. These are most likely the blues that I will be using. I might add a little bit because these are kind of light colored. Oh, that is luscious. Yeah, that's a good, good, that's a good one. I like this color. Okay, this could use a little bit more. This just makes, this color makes me think of Willy Wonka when he's like, Violet, you're turning Violet. <laughs> okay, I'm very happy with this color. I think this is just very fun, very blue, very purpley, very blueberry, very nice. As, long, as well as my snowman um, Christmas tree. I forgot to introduce Frosty. Uh, as you probably already know, it's very close to Christmas. So, as you also know, we're in quite a small apartment, but I have been able to stuff four Christmas trees and three long strands of garland, a wreath, two wreaths, and just a ton of Christmas lights. I just absolutely love, 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 love Christmas lights. Um, I'm kind of particular about them, I think. I think I'm probably a little bit old fashioned, if you will. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the LED lights, the ones that are just super bright and like in your face. I, I like the old fashioned warm white, just the perfect amount of light when they're the only thing things on in the house. Just perfect. And somehow they just seem to pair perfectly with uh, Christmas music. So it's like you, you light your light your Christmas lights, you turn on the Christmas music and it just goes together so well. So that's what I really like. So I guess comment below. What do you prefer? Are you a warm white sort of person? Are you a, I don't even know what they call it. I know it's like bright white or LED white or something like that. Um, blinding white. Or sometimes I can go for this. Sometimes I can't. Are you the type that likes the colored lights? And this is almost getting too wet, so I'm going to add the citric acid now. If you're watching this video, just pray that the rest of it goes well, okay? Okay, citric acid has been added. A little bit more of the fragrance oil and oh my goodness it's smelling so good I feel like in the 90s we talked about smell vision where you could smell things from the TV it hasn't happened yet and I feel like it should I'm not there I don't know why Ooh, feeling just perfect purple one is definitely ready. Okay, so the rest is going in the blue. Okay, I think we're just about ready to start putting them in molds. Um, one thing to note, the rest of my coconut oil, I have everything ready to go in my fridge. Let me show you. I already have some of the citrus berry ones chilling they'll be labeled packaged tonight 
but this is my bath bomb. I just call this the bath bomb, bomb hotel. It's a cookie sheet with rice, bubble, bubble wrap so that they can sit, stay circular, and not freak out. Bath bombs need the best of the best care. This is it. I promise you, if you think, if you go into making bath bombs like I went into making bath bombs, thinking that everything you see people doing online is not something that you will have to do, you'll be wrong. I was wrong. I saw people freaking out over this. And I was like, why? Why are you so stressed out? It's a bath bomb. How, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard for you? This needs more moisture. But yeah, everything you see people doing online, they're doing for a reason. It's because bath bombs pretty much hate life. And any opportunity they get to either crumble or explode, they will. Getting to that happy medium bath bomb where they stay. Then you take them. And you mash them. Oh, one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine bright above. Okay, so, as you know, it's raining. As you know, bath bombs don't like water. When it rains, there's moisture in the air, which is water, goes into your, hmm. So, it would make more sense if today my bath bombs were floating. However, they're not. They're crumbling, which makes no sense. The humidity is literally 100%, maybe more, if you can have more than 100% humidity. But no, I have had to remake some bath bombs because they're not moist enough to have it so that they stay together. That makes no sense. I'm almost on the last one. I added a little bit more rubbing alcohol. A little bit more coconut oil and they seem to be just fine now however to troubleshoot a little further because in reality you cannot troubleshoot your bath bombs enough I have also moved my bath bombs that are out of the mold from the refrigerator to the new deep freezer that we have that's over there um, this, that was not the reason that we bought it. However, you can put an entire cookie sheet in there, so why not? I'm not gonna keep them in there for too long, just because I've never put them in the deep freezer before. I don't know how they'll like it. And they're bath bombs, so you just don't know. I like, I like to hear it kind of wiggling around because one, I know that means it's gonna unmold pretty easily. I also know that that means it's 
probably staying together. Probably. Not guaranteed. Let's see. Oh yeah, and I added sprinkles. <laughs> now. Oh gosh. Because I was thinking, it's almost Christmas. Hello! Why would I not add just a little bit of sprinkles? I don't know. Don't you worry, sprinkles are fine for the environment. I care about that too. It's just not really something that I like advertise. Got a little bit of a dimple, but other than that, mm, I like it. I'd say this one's ready for the deep freezer. Now, what I like to do with any remaining mixture that I have, which is just half of a mold, um, I like to act as though I made it into a bath bomb and then just put it on the counter to see what it would have done if I didn't put it in the fridge. Because in all reality, it would be a lot easier not to have to baby these things so much, not have to put them in the refrigerator or the deep freezer <laughs> or anything like that. Um, so I like to just mold it up, squish it down, put it on the counter, see what it does. Alrighty, so I checked on the bath bombs that are in the freezer. They are doing better than the bath bombs that were in the fridge because something in the fridge, from like the up here was leaking it was just it was just water I won't sell the ones that were leaked on obviously but bath bombs don't like water so those bath bombs were just sitting in the fridge like slowly sometimes I do question my sanity uh, for making bath bombs but then you unmold them and they're so pretty you know like of course I want to make these they're gorgeous I mean look at that one that's amazing it's just it's just more fun once they're done than when you're like you're just hoping for the best Pretty and sparkly. Ooh, too many sparkles. Some of those will fall off, but still. Mm, there you go. It's still pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get these into the freezer. I'm gonna get these into the freezer. I'm gonna call the maintenance people and have them fix our fridge and yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a minute by the tree and discuss the some of the issues that we saw today because there were two major ones. So we had an issue with the bath bombs crumbling once they were taken out of the mold. Obviously, that's not a bath bomb that can be sold. That's a bath bomb that someone's just going to throw in the trash if they ever got it. Not a quality bath bomb. So what do you do? That problem is actually very easy to fix. Once you have the bath bomb, you take it out of the mold. If it crumbles, um, my strategy is to always take it out of the mold over my bowl of essentially raw ingredients. The, the powdered mix that you're using to make your bath bombs. So you've unmolded your bath bomb, it crumbled into that bowl. Just give it another spritz of water, rubbing alcohol, or witch hazel. You could even, if you think that maybe it could use a stronger smell, add some more fragrance oil. You could also add some more coconut oil. Whichever thing, whichever wet ingredient that you think will make your bath bomb the best. Add a little bit at a time, mix it, add it, mix it, add it, mix it until you get a better consistency. And you'll be able to tell that 
your bath bombs are better than they were before. Now. <laughs> what are you doing when the top of your fridge is suddenly producing condensation? Because once I looked at it more, that's what was happening, is there was little bubbles of water, little condensation bubbles coming from the roof of my <laughs> fridge. That's never happened before. What do you do? First and foremost, keep an eye on them because I caught them before really anything could happen. Um, while I'm not gonna sell bath bombs that have been, had water dripped on them, to save those bath bombs, they went into the deep freezer immediately. Um, you can put them in, you know, there's just not a lot of room up there. So thank God we just bought a deep freezer and that is where my bath bombs are at. Currently, in a few minutes, I will take them out, stick them back into the fridge on a different rack <laughs> and probably covered with a towel, just in case. Um, yeah, I for, for that kind of issue, the only way to really troubleshoot it and to even know what's going on is to micromanage those darn bath bombs. Always know what they're up to, what they're doing, and where they're going. Because if I had checked up on those bath bombs, even like three minutes later, they would have just... And then I wouldn't have any bath bombs for myself, and that would be a big bummer. So, micromanage your bath bombs, and keep an eye on whether they're crumbling or puffing up and exploding, because that will tell you 100% whether you have too much liquid or not enough. So that is my troubleshooting for today. It was a very weird problem to have dry bath bombs on a rainy day, but sometimes you just, you just don't know what's gonna happen with these things, and that's kind of why they're an adventure. So that is all for today. I am going to go take my bath bombs out of the freezer, go stick them on a dry rack in the fridge. And then after that, I will, who knows, because it's pouring down rain. So I will be in the house, maybe putting up another Christmas tree. If I can find one, we'll see. You never know, why not? I will see y'all next time. Most likely we will be making soap or I have a new product up my sleeve. So if I can get all the ingredients in time for my next video, that's what we'll be making. So very exciting things happening. I hope y'all are having an absolutely wonderful day and absolutely wonderful holiday season. I hope that all of your lights are working, whether they are warm lights, or LED lights, or colorful lights. I hope that all of your strands came on perfectly this year. And if they did, maybe go play the lottery too, because that never happens. So, like I said, I hope y'all had an absolutely wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, please hit that little bell icon. Um, really helps me out, really helps me grow. And I will see y'all next time, bye.